Hello, today I thought I'd do a quick video on replacing the MakerBot Replicator 2 and 2X stock idler. According to the manual, every 50 hours you're required to grease this, and when the grease runs low, you'll hear a nice squeaky sound going off during your prints. So, I purchased Al's aluminum idler here that actually runs ball bearings and won't require the 50 hour greasing. So, we're going to replace this with the new aluminum ball bearing idler and I should have quieter prints and not have to worry about this part of the maintenance every 50 hours. So first thing you want to do of course is remove your side panels. I'll slide this up front here. And we're going to be removing the four screws from the stepper motor. That's going to be these four screws right here. One, two, three, and the one up top. And the four back there. So we'll go ahead and remove these screws. And I'm going to actually unplug my stepper motor because I'm going to move the motor a little bit and I don't want to put added strain on this cable. These cables have enough problems as it is. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've unplugged my stepper motor. I've removed these two screws here facing the side panel. And I've loosened up the two screws about three turns in the back. This will allow me to slide my stepper motor forward. And in doing this, will cause slack on the belt and allow us to remove the stock idler. So in removing the stock idler, I'm just going to simply pull it forward. Hopefully I have enough slack on the belt there. Yep. And I want to pay attention to the orientation of this. The big block actually faces the front of the MakerBot. And that's because Owls will need to go back in the same direction with it facing the front. Now mine did come with a couple of washers and I think that was primarily for Carl's aluminum XNs which I haven't received in yet. So I won't be using the washers on this one. Now that we have the new idler in place we're going to simply pull the stepper motor back. That will give it tension on the belt. You want to make sure you got tension on both top and bottom. And as I'm holding this back, I'm going to put the top screw in, the two front here, to hold it in place, and then tighten down the two in the back. All right, so I've tightened down the four screws, about hand tight, and let's turn it around here. And we're just going to jog this with our hand back and forth. Make sure it's got a really smooth feeling to it, which it does. And we'll look at the new idler here as well. Let's take a look at that. And what we want to make sure is we don't have the belt riding too far on one side or the other. And the idler stays remained in the middle which it is. And that's it. Real simple, real easy. Nice investment. Better quality part. No more squeaking. No more using PTFE grease every 50 hours and having to pull that out and clean it and put it back. And you're good to go. So I'd like to thank Al for taking the time to create this part and put the design thought into it and the engineering and offering it to the public as a uh, purchased uh, upgrade for the MakerBot Replicator 2 and 2X. Thanks for watching.